For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. One Memphis police officer was killed and two others were wounded in a shootout early Friday morning. An 18-year-old suspect also died. WKNO's Katie Reardon reports. Officials say the officers were responding to a call of a suspicious vehicle in South Memphis at around 2 a.m. Shots were fired from the vehicle and the officers returned fire, police say, before the driver and passenger fled. Eventually, 18-year-old Jalen Lobley and an unidentified 17-year-old were apprehended and transported to the hospital in critical condition. Lobley died. 26-year-old officer Joseph McKinney was also taken to the hospital and died from injuries. He joined the MPD in 2020. Two other unidentified officers were also wounded while exchanging fire. Speaking at a press conference Friday morning, Police Chief C.J. Davis made a collective appeal to do more to end gun violence. We have a family that's grieving now. We have a wife that's grieving now. We have the family of the suspects that are grieving now. And as a community, we have to do better. Davis added that Lobley was arrested in March in a stolen vehicle with an illegal firearm. She noted he was released without bond. District Attorney Steve Mulroy said in a statement that he was, quote, deeply saddened by McKinney's death and that his office had opposed a judicial commissioner's decision to release Lobley on his own recognizance. Local and state officials offered their condolences on Friday, including Mayor Paul Young. We know that we as a community have to do more uh, to hold violent offenders accountable for their actions, uh, even our young people. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is investigating the shooting. Katie Reardon, WKNO News. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org or on the free WKNO app.